here's my quick demonstration on how to set up the bunk beds. So these chairs, they just fold down. Very simple. There is a ratchet strap that holds the beds firm to the wall. They don't go anywhere, they don't move. You know, they're very solid. Um, all fixed to anchor points to the frame of the van. Just loosen off that first strap. Okay, take the first bed down. I find it easier just to flip it over onto this side first. Then carry the bed down to here. This is obviously the one for, this is the one that goes on top. Open those up a bit. Open up the straps first and then lace it. It's a bit easier for hooking it up. All right. The top one's very easy to go on, it just hooks straight on. All right, they're actually uh, flight case hinges. So you, hook, you can hook it on and unhook it very easily in this position. But once you flip it up like that, that is not coming off the hook. It's locked in now. Like when it's in this position, it's locked in. So yeah, flight case hinges. Okay, like, so you can get the um, lid off of a flight case box. Once you put one of them on, that's it. Put the second one on. That's that one, done. If you only have one kid, bang, easy, done. And the good thing about just keep, we tend to just actually keep the, the top one up all the time, even when we're driving and stuff, because even with the top one up, you can still, you still put the chairs up and the kids can sit there. And it's really good because we have these carabiners on this, hit, on this netting here, opens up, you can put like toys and books and teddies and stuff in there. And you can like take all your bedding, like the kids beddings from the two bunk beds and just chuck it all up there when you're driving. Ideal, makes extra storage. Um, yeah, anyway, put these down, we'll get the second bed set up. I can do this on my own. Um, I don't think my wife's ever even tried to put it up on like the second one. I don't think she's ever tried to do it on her own. Uh, but sometimes she gives me a hand, why not? It's quite easy to do this with people still playing. We normally just let the kids go up and play like in the cab. So give us a little bit of space to do this. <clears throat> Again, take these over here ready to go. Flip it over onto the other bed. This one's a little bit more tricky. It hooks from underneath. Okay, so it's actually easier to take this out. You can do it without this still in there, but easy to take that off, all right? Because then you can see what you're doing, all right? And this one, you line it up, okay? You know what? It's complicated because you have to push it up. Okay. Once that's done, again, it's not going anywhere. Take the carabiner ratchet strap even. In fact, this one quite handy. Quite, it just sits there like that. Down there. All right. You can level this one out, this one. Yeah. Once somebody's on this, And you only you grab that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how long I was chatting away through that to take me four and a half minutes, yeah? I'm chatting away, explaining how to do it at the same time. I also haven't done it in a while. I haven't been away in the van, slept in it for probably a couple of months. So there you go. And I mean, I've woken up in the night and my three-year-old has like sort of rolled out of bed and she's like lying in here, like a hammock. These are fixed, I mean, it takes a lot of weight in there. Or 
course, you know. So that's great. That's, uh, that's the way it works, all right? 